There really is no denying how adorable koalas are. But as soon as I heard this fact, you know, I was a little like, well, how adorable are they if they're found at crime scenes? Hi everyone, I'm Sarah and welcome to Sketching with Sarah. On this channel, you'll learn some interesting facts about animals while I sketch an illustration to emphasize those facts. Today's fact is about koalas and their fingerprints. Now you might be thinking, Sarah, why are koalas at crime scenes? I mean, come on, if you look at any koala's little face, how can you say that he was ever involved in any type of criminal investigation? Well, as you know, fingerprints are super important, and the fact that cute little koala bears have almost identical fingerprints to humans and criminals, you can see how this could potentially be confusing to investigators. Now, I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about the specifics, mostly because I wanted this video to focus on mainly me talking about the process of drawing this criminal koala. If you want more information about this case or about this story in general, I've linked the articles I used for this video down in the description box below, so feel free to go check those out. So without further ado, let's get sketching. First thing I'm gonna do is take my Colorase pencil here and just give it a good sharpen. It has two steps, so the first step kinda gets it like around the lead, I guess, for the pencil. And then the second slot really gets it to like a super narrow, gonna shank you type point. That's how I like to sharpen my pencils. I love this one too because it has lead holder sharpeners too. And it holds your shavings. So that's good for on the go as I sprinkle shavings all over my paper. All right. So as you heard from the beginning, I am going to be sketching a criminal koala here because their fingerprints, you wouldn't know if they were human or not. So I got a reference up here. I'm just gonna start sketching some koalas. So he's got kind of a weird nose here. I'm just gonna go very lightly and kinda, I don't even think, I guess you can kinda see it. But I chose green because I think of koalas, I think of eucalyptus plants. Also, this is one of the longer colorized pencils I have, so, and I didn't want to use one of my baby ones that I use all the time because it got quite short. Like, I usually use this brown one, but it's getting to its end here, so. We got a koala going, his head, his eyeballs. They've got like these weird, I don't know, the reference I'm looking at is like this rounded, kind of like proboscis he's got going here. They're just so, so cute, but not this one. He's gonna be really, I guess, criminal looking. I don't know what that'll be yet, but right now I'm just gonna be sketching some koalas just to get an idea for what they look like. Got these cute, like monkey bear ears. <laughs> Interesting fact about koalas, too, is they are not bears. Most of you probably know that they are marsupials. And yeah, so here we've got one kind of on a tree. Their fingers are really weird, too, and something I learned when I was... A couple articles that I was looking at that I linked in the description is that they climb trees kind of hand over hand. And so they have, like, two fingers in front and two fingers in back. So, like, these two are kind of close to each other. So this isn't even really, like, a thumb. Like, I'll give you an example, like, there's another reference picture I'm looking at, too, that, like, here's a tree branch. They kind of grip them like this, with two fingers. Their two fingers are here, Then there's, like, this wide, kind of like how we have here, they have the other fingers, like that. It's super weird, and if you ever get a chance to look at koalas, pay attention to how they climb, because it's really bizarre. <laughs> It looks like these are their knuckles, too. So this is like the back of their hand. And they have like these weird fingers. <laughs> it's just so weird. Not only do their fingerprints look like our fingerprints, but they also kind of don't have the same kind of structure of hands we have, if that makes sense. This isn't really looking so great, but this is kind of what I mean by that. So as I'm drawing this hand here, I guess it like it looks like it's doing that with like these front two. I don't know. I feel like whenever I draw animals, though, it's... I learn so much about them just by studying, like, what they learn. Or what they learn. Pfft, what they look like. Their designs are just so unique, which is kind of why I wanted to start this channel. Just because 
sketching them and like kind of observing what they look like. It really helps you learn about them, which is kind of why I'm doing these factoid type videos too. Something I thought about when I was drawing these sketches at the beginning, kind of like to try and figure out an idea for a YouTube video. I was sketching them and I totally just lost my train of thought because I was lost in his eyes here. You know, not all marsupials have pouches because I know a lot of people, when they think of animals that are marsupials, they think, oh, they're like kangaroos or wombats or koalas, so they have little pouches like in their belly or whatever to carry their offspring, but there's actually like 330 like different marsupial type animals. So I thought that was kind of cool. And I learned that one third of them are in South America, but the other two thirds are basically all Australia. So they have a lot of marsupials there. So I thought that was really cool. I was thinking like, you know, since not a lot of them have pouches, it, it's kind of like when you go shopping and you get like a cute skirt or something and you go to fit them on in the dressing room and you're like, oh my God, it has pockets, like the best feeling ever. So that's just something that went through my brain, basically. <laughs> my art brain here. It's like, oh, I should draw maybe like in a skirt or something because they have pockets because they're marsupials. Again, this is also my first YouTube video, so if the quality is crap and my audio is terrible, I'll just be better next time. I'm also super awkward, so hopefully with time, I'll get better. <laughs> All right, so eh, this is kind of like the top part of this guy here. I guess I'll kind of do a little uh, little fingers here. I am looking at references and kind of getting a feel for what, how their body works. <laughs> so I decided to do a mug shot of this like really sketchy looking, <laughs> sketchy no pun intended, koala here. So it could probably fit into the whole, I see his fingerprints at this crime scene. Maybe he actually did do it. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's just kind of my awkward explanation of that but anyway so let me get more details in his face here so their noses are kind of like square globs and they're very like specific to koala bears that is not what his eye looks like i mean i'm like with kind of human eyes and that's not really accurate <laughs> all right so we've got they have like the cutest little short hair like little wisps and I don't know if this anatomy is super accurate but I'm kind of just sketching off a reference just for fun super loosey-goosey just seeing what we do here okay so this is kind of like my general sketch to start off with I'm gonna draw maybe so let's do a koala here kind of looking to the side I'm trying to figure out Okay, so, so his nostrils are kind of like underneath, so uh, something like that. See, like I said, whenever I start drawing these animals, I really try and figure out how everything's laid out so you can see them from different angles. I don't know, I know their eyes are kind of lined up with that top of their nose. And <laughs> he's, got, he's got like the cutest like kind of overbite little thing here. This reference photo. Got a little cheek here and a little cheek here. They're just so weird. Like, like I feel like the longer I draw an animal, the weirder they look to me. Cause like everyone knows what a koala looks like. And then you really study how their face is laid out. And it's like, these are really weird critters. In my illustration class, I'm like sketching these animals for a new illustration or something. and. I'm always saying like, oh my god, have you ever noticed how weird giraffe legs are or their feet? Like, especially feet, because no one really thinks about their feet very much. And they're just so bizarre. Like, giraffe feet are weird. Beaver feet are weird. <laughs> like, you never just think about them until I start to draw them anyways when I realize that they're quite strange. No one thinks about those feet. But <laughs> they all have their own purpose and why they're like that. So, some of them are webs, some of them are weird. <laughs> I don't know. Animals are weird, okay? <laughs> these are so crappy sketches, but they're just sketches. This is where it all begins. So they're not supposed to be perfect. These are learning sketches. 
This guy is kind of holding this branch I was looking at earlier. The branch kind of goes like. I also have my handy dandy big eraser because these color rice pencils, they're nice because you can draw in like a color, but the erasers go real quick and I don't have those eraser caps. So I just grab a giant eraser and do what I gotta do. This is kind of what I was drawing over here in this reference photo. I've got like, I'm gonna really try and study it this time. Just so much easier to flip your pencil around, honestly, than having to, you know, <laughs> grab the eraser over there. Alright, so he's got... So weird. Like, I'll pop a picture right here, just to show you what I mean. Dang, nabbit. So, something just happened that's never happened before, because I've never made a YouTube video before. Silly me was like, oh, I'll just start a new video. So I ended up making a whole other section of just like kind of restarting because I thought it didn't record for some stupid reason because I went back to my camera roll and I was like well, where's the video I just made and it was like no it doesn't exist and I went to like delete a bunch of apps and stuff and then it just magically appeared for some weird reason I don't understand it but I'm back <laughs> drawing this one so I, I drew the same one but I drew it again because I restarted the video like again, but I'm not gonna put that one in because I did the whole intro thing again and I'm just, uh, Anyway, so as we go, I'm still figuring it out still figuring out how to YouTube and stuff. So bear with me, please <laughs> Okay. So I think I'm gonna be done after I sketch this hand. I'm just gonna be done with Figuring out koalas for now because I already drew this one like one two and then this kind of time I'm just gonna kind of go through this guy Give him some darker lines just because I don't know how well I mean, you can kind of see him on camera, but I'm going to darken him up a little bit. I have a lot of caffeine in me right now because it's 10 at night. So I'm going to be talking faster and sketching shakier. So, <laughs> and I noticed that when I was drawing this one, I totally forgot his other finger. So that's why it was weird to me. So I'm going to switch that real quick. It's like, why is his back of his hand being weird because it doesn't go like that it goes like this I think that's because I drew it three times like I drew it here or I drew it here first to show you what I mean about the hand over hand thing and I drew it here and I drew it here and yeah this first one's not cutting it <laughs> so I'm gonna take like a few seconds and just kind of just for myself really because I use my sketchbook to kind of as notes to myself <laughs> because I'm always learning about animals and how to make them look more accurate or less accurate depending on what I'm trying to do. So yeah, that's <laughs> still not good, but it's better than what I had before, which is all that matters. I'm learning. Yeah, stay in school kids. Alright, so now we're going to move on to actually what I wanted to do this video of, which is making a mugshot of this koala guy. I'm going to switch to purple, or blue, never mind. <laughs> Prismacolor color erase pencil. Yeah. I'm gonna try to find a reference that's kind of closer to what I want for this mugshot guy. I also don't know what mugshot cards look like. <laughs> I've never had a mugshot done of myself, so I wouldn't really have much experience with that. Anyway, so let's do another koala kind of head on face here. Kind of what I did here, but I'm gonna try and make him more angular maybe. Because he's so round and sweet and like adorable and like he's got a little smile here. You know, he's just so kawaii and adorable. But this one I'm going to try and make him more edgy. <laughs> so well, let's start with the basics. So he's got, he's still got a koala nose because he's still a koala. These are very specific to him. This also kind of reminds me of like Grover. I don't know, one of those Sesame Street characters. Puppet guys. I'm going to move on. Just because this video is probably going to be really long. Again, I always do this. I always put the nose too low. Cause it's supposed to line up like here. Why do I do this to myself? Okay, so we're gonna move that guy up a little bit like that. So I'm gonna try and draw the base of this guy the same and then kind of alter it so that it makes him look more sinister, I guess. That's wrong, that's wrong. Oh, 
Okay, so that's kind of the gist of this guy. I just want to make sure the... That's his little chinny chin chin. And then we've got his poofy face. Their faces are kind of like hexagons. Because it's like... Whatever. <laughs> Going crazy here. The Mountain Dew's kicking in, you guys. It's kicking in. I feel like I talk a mile a minute when I drink caffeine. So we've got this, this. I'm just kind of, kind of lightly fit those in. Blah, 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 blah. And then I don't really know <laughs> what mugshot the card things look like. So I have a reference here. And if you type in mugshot card into Google, there's a lot of like make your own, like insert your name here thingies. But it's about the same, kind of. I just need to lay out. Since koalas are tiny, I'm gonna try and make it if a human was holding it, it would probably be like this big to a koala, I feel like. Maybe. No, maybe smaller. Mm, like that. I don't know. Human head is probably like this. Okay, whatever. That works for me, but I'm just gonna make it fit my sketchbook good. <laughs> well, whatever. So then I'm just gonna darken that so you can see it better. So he's got his little inmate postcard thingy. And so it looks like it's basically like this and then this random number here or inmate number and like the police department and then whatever they did. So I'm just gonna do London Police Department only because that's what I remember. <laughs> I should I should plan this out a little better because I'm gonna start writing it and then I'll like run out of space and then it'll get awkward. So uh, I'm just gonna do a generic police department just because I don't remember exactly what the d police department like was. I'm just gonna lightly put the placement of the word department okay sometimes i'll be like sketching the name really quick and then i'll like miss a letter and that's always awkward usually i catch it pretty quick okay so i'm gonna do what number should i do i'm gonna do the number i always default to eight six seven five eight, oh nah and then what did he do let's see <laughs> was too cute to look at no. See, he would be too cute to look at. That's what his criminal offense would be. This guy... You know what? I'm gonna start making him look evil, and then I'll come up with what he did wrong. So I'm gonna go back to my Google search here of just... I literally typed in koala in Google, and I have, like, the page of all the thumbnails of koalas. I don't like to use one reference. I kind of like to use a bunch of them. Just because I don't like copying one thing. I like to learn it and then go from there. So we've got this guy here. First of all, he looks surprised <laughs> or like, why am I here? I don't get it. I don't understand. I'm innocent, which is not what we want. So we're going to put his eyebrows down or eyelids down. Make him look more like a Garfield guy. Cause you know, Garfield's got like those big eyes and he's got like the line down the middle. He's got like a really unimpressed look. I want to give him eyebrows that go like, pew, pew, but... I kind of don't because then cause they don't really have eyebrows and I feel like I can make them look more unfriendly <laughs> without adding demon eyebrows. So right now he's looking real unimpressed. Um, okay, if I make him look down though, it kind of makes him look like he's sad about what he did. So I'm going to just really emphasize this kind of deepened, like he frowns a lot, wrinkle here. Like he just really, oh, I'm gonna give him a forehead, what do you call it, this eyebrow, bone, wrinkles, forehead wrinkles, whatever. <laughs> Moving on. So he's, he's really scowly. He's looking a little bit more like he fits this whole I'm a bad guy type vibes here. So now I'm gonna have, what if instead of like this round kind of face that makes him look cutesy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of exaggerate it. See, okay, another thing 
I love colorized pencils, but you can't erase it more than that. Like it kind of got to be really light or not light and then commit to it. So all right, I'm going to what if I, what if I did that? So he's really Hmm. So that way he's kind of more angular. I feel like the more angular something is, the less Round and cutesy and oh my gosh, bubbles, you know. I'm just gonna try and make everything straight lines because maybe that'll make them more edgy. Okay, so let's give him some square ears. Earbuds here. And then, nope. <laughs> Looking like Jenny the Teenage Robot over here. Okay, let's just keep those a little bit fluffier, but like, or pointy. Ooh, what if they're like more like uh, messier? He looks like he has pigtails. I don't like that. Should I give him a face tattoo? Mm, no. <laughs> I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. See, I really should have just done this with a regular pencil now that I'm thinking about it because not digging the lines I'm making. You've got the scowl down, kinda, yeah. Got the scowl, got the massive eyebrow, got the dead eyes. <laughs> That's important, I guess. Got the pigtails. Maybe it's because these are here that make them look like pigtails. So I'm just gonna kind of <laughs> make them more koala-y again. <laughs> Oh man. See, they don't look much like. Oops. They don't look as much like pigtails here because I think I got like the rounded, like ears here. Maybe I don't know. He definitely looks a lot more not friendly in this one though. But it's all because of this and this, which I maybe mean, that's all it needs. I don't know. I'm just having fun here. I'm not really trying to make a masterpiece per se. Disclaimer, in case it turns out bad, <laughs> basically. Okay, so he's got the chest here. <laughs> I should give him like a tattoo on his arm or something. Nah. Just cause he's furry and I don't, I don't know. Maybe he doesn't have fur, maybe he's got like a scar. Ooh, I should give him a scar. No, that's too cliche, too cliche. No, 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 no. I can still kind of see it because I can't erase it. I'm gonna give him like a piercing. No, ooh, a nose piercing. <laughs> or like gauges, nah. I don't know. I feel like he looks edgy enough without really needing any accessories because he's just very dead inside. Feeling, looking, looking, I guess. I don't know how he's feeling, but it doesn't look very happy. <laughs> All right. Mm. What am I missing? I'm missing, well, the freaking card, but that's not what I was talking about. Let's start the arms. Maybe I'll get inspired. Oh yeah, we talked about the hands, the, the hands here and in here. So I'm gonna incorporate those grabby hands. Let's see if I can find a reference, because I know how they work, but it's always nice to find a reference that is kind of in that angle, so you can kind of work off of it. So, so since his arm is coming out here, his elbow's probably like here-ish, maybe. I don't know. I'm winging it at this point. I'm winging it. This is when good, good references come in, but see, I kind of get how they work. They do kind of look like regular hands in some shots, though, because I guess they're not really grabbing onto like a branch, per se. So there's the whole type thing. Gosh darn it, okay. <sighs> Anatomy, Sarah, he knows this. I knows you knows this. Knows hat. So the finger goes like, is there another finger back here? Probably, let's put it there. Okay, so that kind of emphasizes that a little bit, kind of, maybe, all right, all right. Freak. <laughs> it's like alien. Weird. Okay. 
See what I mean? It's probably this is probably so incorrect. I just don't care at this point. This video is getting hella long. So I'm probably gonna end up cutting this up a bunch. <laughs> Even though I could definitely keep going here. And then I'm gonna put the other hand here. Kind of mirror it a little bit. I'm going solo here without a reference. Oh god. Oh god. Help me. Okay, so we got the same kind of E.T. I come in peace type thing. Oh my lord. Whew. Whew. This is so inaccurate, but I'm I'm doing I'm doing my best here. He's got alien fingers, and that's all that and maybe that's why he's a criminal. He's not actually from Earth. He's just I keep saying he, but what if it's a she? Ooh. Give her like lips and that hmm. No, he's a dude. He's definitely a dude. It's too I don't know. He he's he's a dude. I'm the artist. I'm taking some liberty here. He's a dude. <laughs> So I'm gonna just clean this sketch up, kind of add some liner, and we'll meet you back here with the final product, just cause this video is taking forever. And I feel like I could ramble forever too. So we're just gonna cut here, I'll show you the final image, and we'll kind of be it. All right, you guys, so this is the final illustration based off of the sketches that we made earlier in this video. I think I'm gonna end up doing a digital version of this illustration as well, just so I can color it and kind of fix a couple things that I'm a little unhappy with, like I think the elbow should be moved up. Just kind of little tweaks here and there. Now, while I was doing the line art for this, I was using a Micron pen and I was really getting into it. I did the, the lettering really well and I was really proud of it. And then I realized that mugshot cards are black with a white lettering. So I was a little bummed out. I had like the moment of realization like, darn. <laughs> so I ended up using a white gel pen to kind of go over those lines and then color the background with Sharpie and a little bit of Micron around the lettering here. And I also added the measuring kind of lines and koalas are about two to three feet tall. So this guy's a little bit short, but I thought I'd make that as accurate as I can just cause you know, why not? If you're curious or wanna know exactly what the supplies I'm using in this video are, make sure you check the description box below. I have them all linked there for you. I've got the sharpener, eraser, Prismacolor colorized pencils, Micron pen, white gel pen, and my sketchbook down in the description. So check those out if you're interested. You also may notice that I left this part blank. And this is the part of the card that would have what he did wrong listed down here. I left this part blank, particularly because I want you guys to be involved in this illustration as well. So down in the comments below, I want you to comment what you think this guy did wrong. Why is he going to jail? Why is he in trouble? What did he do? I'll pick my favorite and add it in white gel pen on here, as well as in the digital illustration I end up doing for this drawing. At the end of this video, I'll just pop an image right here just to show you the digital illustration I end up creating for this character here, as well as posting it on my Instagram. If you like this type of content, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I have all kinds of work in progress, sketching, drawing, everything in my life that's art related. I am recording this post edit. I did notice that when I was looking back at the footage of the sketching process in this video, I say, um, like, like kinda, um, kinda like a lot. So most of the cuts in this video are kind of frequent, mostly because I was cutting out those chunks. I feel like with practice, it'll get better and better and I won't have to cut out as much. Maybe next video, I'll just do a voiceover and not record audio like as I draw. But you know, I'm still kind of learning, trying to find a way to record and edit that works for me. If you like this type of content, let me know in the comments below as well as subscribing and liking. I'll be making new videos every Fun Fact Friday. And as I create more videos, I might add a mashup Monday where I'm going to mash up some animals together kind of make a hybrid of them and come up with an illustration to go along with it. For now, I'm just gonna upload on Fridays just to kind of get in the groove and learn how I can make my videos even better than the one before. Thank you guys so much for watching. Here's the insert of the digital illustration I came up with after refining the sketch and coloring it. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned for the next one.